Hello everybody, Slothalopolis here with the Average Gamer Guys, doing a little bit of, of a, uh, a series that we're going to try out. I have been doing Games for Gold periodically. Every time they come out, uh, if I can, a lot of times I just didn't get around to them for one reason or the other. Um, but I'm going to bundle a couple games in. I'm going to bundle in Games with Gold. And I'm also going to bundle in games that are free, games like Trove and Paladins, things like that, that I will do some videos for. So I guess I'm going to narrow this down, uh, be a little bit more specific. We're going to do cheap gamer guys. Uh, we're going to do uh, balling on a budget and hitting a bunch of crates because uh, I'm really bad at this game. This game is called Speedrunners. It is the first half of June, uh, the game that we got for gold with Xbox Live. It is obviously super, super silly. Uh, it's 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 like a party type game is what I would describe it as it's a platformer where you literally try to speed run through and the the fun really becomes when you get to play with with your friends and throw stuff at them hit them with bombs do all that fun stuff just screwing around messing with them and and uh, doing a little bit better than they are. The characters are wonky, they're zany, and uh, it's it's honestly really fun. It's obviously not a super competitive, super serious game, but I, that's cool. It's it's nice to mix that up every now and then. I think it's a good addition, um, especially with Watch Dogs being the game that we're going to get in the second half of June. Uh, this is a good one. This is kind of a, a game to to unwind or to play with some friends you, you have people over uh, you actually can play with people next to you uh, which is not a very common thing with consoles these days so fun little game to kind of mess around with there's a little bit of RPG type element I guess you could say you're gonna be able to pick up little weapons um, or power-ups uh, kind of think Mario Kart if you want to think about it that way uh, they're like little blue diamonds you pick up and you get various things you actually open up more maps and more weapon options as you you level up and you basically are just going to level up by winning games so that's that's kind of like a little rpg element in there um you're going to be able to grapple you're going to be able to jump you're going to be able to slide underneath and then use whatever these weapons are and uh it's it's neat that you you really figure out really fast that you're going to have to learn the maps if you're going to want to go fast because there's a lot of cool little techniques you can start adding in um like grappling the wrong direction <laughs> i don't know what happened right there that was so bad um but uh things like uh grappling right into these little speed boost things uh to, to really maximize your your speed going through things uh double jumping throwing like crates and things down as you're going there's going to be little techniques um that are surprisingly fun to pick up and do especially when you're playing with friends uh that's that's just really what's going to make this game fun uh with without it it's it's interesting it's a decent game uh but it's not near as good as it can be uh friends are going to be kind of what makes this this game really take and that's why and why i kind of call it a, a party type game because uh, it's it's like wii sports yeah you can play it by yourself but it's going to be so much better if you're playing with some people you know and you can joke around uh, i actually kind of liken it to any of the worms games in that aspect it's 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 going to be one thing to play it on its own it's, it might be pretty fun uh depending on the context but if you're playing with people you know and people that you can you can bust their chops if you uh if you beat them and if you kill them and do all that other stuff way more fun um doc and i have actually gotten a lot more use out of this game than i thought i ever would for sure did not expect much of anything to be 100 percent honest out of this game it looked pretty stupid out of the uh, right out of the gate, but I'm glad I gave it a shot. I'm glad I tried it. I don't have an ISP that's gonna uh, hit me with uh, Data overages things like that. So whatever it's worth a try. I'll just download it and see what happens um, worth noting in, in That line of thinking there that if you do have an ISP that that charges uh, for data caps or if you just don't feel like playing the game right at that moment uh, don't have space on your hard drive whatever the case may be if you are unaware you can actually uh, go to the games for gold section there and go ahead and initiate the download and you can actually immediately cancel that download and it will show in the store that you own that game from there on so for whatever reason, if you can't download, don't want to download, right at that very moment, you can actually still own the game uh, after the, the period where Games with Gold uh, makes it free. So 
my my thing is whether I want the game, whether I think the game's stupid, whether I think I'm ever going to play the game ever, I'm going to go ahead and download it. Um, just to just to go ahead and own it. Just you know, you never know what'll happen. Um, I'm not going to turn down free because uh, it's it's pretty much no strings attached. So uh, pretty neat little thing that that you can always try there. I think pretty much everybody knows about that at this point. But uh, just in case you don't, that's that's something you can kind of have in your pocket. Um, keep an eye out for the uh, for the new kind of series, the new subsection of stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing Cheap Gamer Guys. Uh, it's going to be balling on a budget for uh, for pretty much anything that I can get for super cheap or anything that I can get for free. Um, the consoles are expensive. Gaming can be really expensive. So I'm going to I'm going to do my best to to make gaming on a budget uh, a really easy thing to do hopefully that will will help some folks out there and if we don't have to spend 60 bucks on games uh that really helps or if we only have to do so once or twice a year for games that we're really excited for uh that's that's the goal that would be really sweet i think that would actually be really helpful so uh, i hope you guys found the the video helpful and i hope this series uh turns out helping you guys in the long run and uh, if, if there's anything that you want me to do, if there's a game you have in mind, please do let me know. Uh, throw it in the comments down below and uh, do all that other stuff like comment, subscribe, if you so choose. I have been Slothalopolis from The Average Gamer, guys, and I will see you next time.